Let's talk about freelancing niches and not losing your motivation and finding your passion. So you should really love your freelancing niche. And if you don't really love it, then you might want to keep looking. For example, when I started as a freelancer, I loved blogging. I really loved being able to put together beautiful posts, take really beautiful photos. Like I really loved this idea of like helping put great content out in the world and sharing it with my readers. When I was 16, I actually ran a viral Tumblr blog that had 40,000 followers and I posted original content every day. Um, and so that was kind of my first foray into blogging before I got my own personal website and started blogging more about freelancing and writing. My first blog was more of like a health blog where I developed recipes and things like that and I kind of lost passion for that and so I stopped doing it. However, I realized I still loved blogging and so I started blogging for other people and then I started blogging on my own personal blog that was kind of more about the topics that I was more interested in which were um, freelance writing, storytelling, things like that. So sometimes you might not just be writing on the right topic or the right subject. But generally, if you're like, oh, I hate blogging, this is so short form, like I wanna do long form, like maybe it's better for you to think about more you know, different kinds of ways to apply your skills as a writer. Or you might really love something like web copy, which is like really short, like sweet, succinct writing that you kind of have to write really punchy and really beautiful and people pay really well for it. But really for your blog, the best niche is something that you're really excited about, something that you are passionate about and can write about every day. And like I said, if you haven't found that, then maybe keep on looking, keep on learning, keep on exploring. Um, I think it's so important that as freelancers, as writers, as humans, we're following our joy and our passion because that will truly make you wake up every day and feel so excited to do what you do. Um, and so whether you're trying to figure out what your blog is about, whether you're trying to figure out what kind of freelance writing to do, follow your passion, follow your joy, and don't stop looking until you find it.